This is a tutorial for Lesson 4-2, Solving Addition and Subtraction Equations Using Inverse Operations. Before we get started, let's remember what inverse operations means. We know that operations are addition, subtraction, and multiplication, and division. Inverse can mean the opposite. So, for example, the inverse of multiplication is division. And the inverse of division is multiplication. The inverse of addition is subtraction, and the inverse of subtraction is addition. So you're going to need to remember that when we do this lesson. Today we're just going to be working with addition and subtraction. So let's go ahead and start with this problem. Now I know some of you can do this mentally, but I want you to write, write it out so that we're pre preparing ourselves for more difficult math in later years. So. We have 45 equals 15 plus n. We want to figure out what n equals, so we need to get n by itself. Right now, it's got this 15 hanging around on its side, so we need to get rid of the 15. This is an addition sign, so we're going to be doing the inverse operation. We're going to subtract 15. By subtracting 15, we get rid of this 15, and it leaves n by itself. So we're going to write minus 15. Now remember, this is an equal sign, which means this is in balance. This side equals this side. Well, if we subtract 15 from one side, all of a sudden it's not in balance anymore. So whatever we do to this side, we have to do to this side to keep it in balance. So if we subtract 15 from that side, we need to subtract 15 from this side, and we're going to line it up right underneath the 45. Now, because we had the addition sign and now we have the opposite, so we had 15, we subtracted 15, that leaves us with nothing. 15 minus 15 is zero. So that is getting, we're getting rid of that, and then it's leaving us with just n, which is what we wanted. n is by itself. So now we do this math problem. 45 minus 15 is 30. And remember, you can check your work. If 30 equals n, we can get rid of this n and put 30 in there. 15 plus 30, yep, it equals 45. So we know that we're right. So you can for sure know if you're right on these problems. So let's do another one. Here we have n minus 12 equals 34. We want to get rid of this 12 so that n is by itself. Well, this is subtraction, so we want to do the opposite of subtraction, the inverse operation. So we're going to add 12 Having it be the opposite with the same number, it gets rid of it. So we're going to be just left with n, which is what we wanted. But remember, whatever we do to this side, we have to do this side to keep it in balance. So if we add 12 to that side, we're going to add 12 to this side. Put our line. This cancels out and leaves you with 0, which leaves us with just our n. Perfect. And now we have our math problem, 34 plus 12. So we're going to be left with 40. 6. We can check our work. 46 minus 12. Yep, it's 34. We know for 100% sure that we are correct with our answer. And that is how you solve addition and subtraction equations using the inverse operation.